So to help me celebrate Valentine's Day this year, and honestly, this is starting to become a tradition, I wanted to reach out to members of the Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire community to ask their opinion on the best and worst relationships in the series. This first video is from The Bat Productions. Big thank you to Kevin for submitting his opinions on this topic. Hey there everybody, this is Kevin from The Bat Productions. Today, I'm helping out Rars by giving my opinion on the best and worst relationship of Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones. Now, my perspectives are gonna be mostly show-based here because one of them is heavily based on the show. So, first of all, I'd like to say the best relationship in all of Game of Thrones, for me personally, is none other than Masinde and Grey Worm. And the reasons why are actually fairly extensive. And when I say extensive, I got five or six reasons. First of all, they just have some personality things that go together. I mean, first of all, they can identify together as slaves growing up. They can also identify together the fact that love doesn't necessarily come easy for both of them, considering their upbringing. I mean, obviously, Grey Worm is the Unsullied, and Masinde, her perspective of love is probably extremely twisted since she's been a slave for a long time and borderline prostitute for a lot of that as well. And they were brought together in this really odd twist of fate by being chosen by Daenerys to be a part of her crew. I mean, Missinde more directly, Grey Worm kind of fell into the role as a member of the Unsullied, but regardless, they do have that other commonality together. And what makes their relationship so great is we saw this development, this evolution of this really like creepy, awkward development of really falling into a good romantic relationship between these two characters that, you know, at times you didn't get like Grey Worm staring at her while she was washing, that was a little weird. But of course, we thought it was more odd that he doesn't have a penis. And that's what's so impressive. They can have penetrative sex. This past season, we saw that they actually had another form of sex, and it was arguably the best sex scene that they've had on Game of Thrones, just because the chemistry was so good. The chemistry was amazing. And that's why I'm going to give Grey Worm and Masinde an excellent thumbs up for this one because I'm rooting for these two kids. Now, the kids that I never wanted to root for and they were a terrible marriage was Cersei Lannister and Robert Baratheon. I mean, first of all, their marriage is purely for political reasons. I'm not knocking him just because of that because there's a ton of political marriages. Like Ned and Catelyn had a good relationship, although that was really just political, frankly. But these two were put together politically and it wasn't very good from that point forward. I mean, really, you ended up getting two raging alcoholics that were just mad all the time <laughs> together in a relationship. And that's always gonna be a chemistry that's just not gonna work out for everyone there. I mean, aside from that kind of thing, Robert had it doomed from the beginning. He only wanted Lyanna. So no matter what Cersei was gonna do, it was never gonna end up matching to what he wanted in Lyanna. And the sex part of it, which is big in a relationship, their first sexual encounter was absolutely terrible with Robert saying Lyanna. And then from that point forward, they were all terrible. <laughs> I mean, most of them were rape or Robert didn't even know what was happening. So like Cersei just like found another way to do it. So no matter what, their sexual relationship was basically non-existent and their <laughs> interpersonal relationship was terrible. When one of them wasn't having sex with their brother, the other one was having sex with anything with a pulse. So these two were absolutely horrible and the worst marriage by far in Game of Thrones or A Song of Ice and Fire. Thank you again, everyone, for letting me join you in this discussion on terrible relationships in Game of Thrones. Again, that was Kevin from The Bat Productions. Make sure to give him love by subscribing to his channel, links in the video description, and comment section down below. And there should also be a link on the screen right now that you can click. Thanks.